Gilbert now. Look at this. Big attack from Philippe Gilbert of France de Jeu. He's such a talented bike rider, Philippe Gilbert. Really turns the heat up on everybody else. I was always uh, turning my race philosophy to attack. Uh, this, was, this is what I like, even if sometimes it's too difficult, but you still try and uh, you see that no one is motivated to try, but you still go and then you bring people with you and uh, you know, you, you start the, the fight. Very simple, he's gritting his teeth, really piling the pace on. Sometimes it's hard to be the first one to do it, but when you start it, then it's, you, you create a different race. Gilbert will win the 63rd edition of the Hetfold. Gilbert takes the prize. That was a spectacular win. When Philip Gilbert burst onto the scene in 2008, it was only the prelude to many more great wins to come. Yeah, I won uh, really nice races like Stage Unit Tour, uh, San Sebastian. Amstel, uh, Flanders. Every time I won this big monument, it was in a way like really aggressive, you know, um, big selection before, the best guys of the day in the final, and then uh, at the end, I managed to win. And uh, when you can win that way, it's, uh, it's really nice, you know, because you can win also a big race, just waiting the sprint and beating the, the guys. But I don't think it's the same feeling, you know, when you do that. Look at Gilbert! Well, this is what the crowd wanted. It's the Belgian champion on one of the iconic Belgian hills. This is what he came to Quick Step for. He wanted to fill in those Flemish holes in his very well-rounded palmarès. When you really build uh, the race and turn it in your way and, uh, and you can manage to win, that's, uh, that's uh, something different. It's another level, I think. Philippe Gilbert, the Belgian national champion, one of the most aggressive, enjoyable and dramatic races in the history of this race in recent years. Gilbert raises his bike over the line. After claiming the Tour of Flanders and Paris-Roubaix in his time with De Kerning Quickstep, Gilbert has returned to rivals Lotto Soudal to strive for the fifth and final monument. You cannot say before the start I'm going to win, you know, it's uh, San Remo is still like even 10 k to go, even even if you're good, you're not sure to win. Vincenzo Nibali is flying up the road. Like uh, the other classics, like 10 k to go, you know, pretty much that you have a big chance to win uh, because this, the, the selection is made and there's only a few guys left and you can feel if you're better than them or not. But San Remo is like 10 k to go, it's still like 80 guys together fighting and uh, maybe 20 of them can win. Nibali is within sight to the finish line and Alaphilippe hits the front, Larison trying to get on turns. It's a bit like uh, playing on the lotto, you know, <laughs> you, you have your numbers and you hope that they are the right ones. And here comes Alaphilippe to another famous victory. I'm not so confident about San Remo because it's, I know it's difficult to manage and, and control everything. With a three-season contract, the 37-year-old has time yet to tick San Remo off the list. In doing so, he'd join an elite trio who've won all five monuments. Rick Van Looy, Roger de Vlaeminck, and of course, Eddie Merckx. Uh, I think it will be a nice day to stop cycling, but uh, with the contract uh, signed, uh, I think it, uh, it's worth it also to go keep 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 racing you know i think if i do that it will be like uh, only three people did, did this uh, these five wins you know and uh, three belgians from another time you know it's a long time ago and uh, i think it's really hard to realize the impact that this will have and uh, of course we're talking about the dream and uh, a goal but it's really hard to make it happen even without La Primavera on his palmares, Gilbert's attacking style will leave an everlasting mark on the world of cycling. I'm thankful to these people because uh, I feel the support, you know, uh, and not only when I win, but also when I have bad luck and everything. I have a lot of uh, messages, support also next to the road, and it's always nice, you know, but yeah, uh, I just do my best and uh, I remember just myself when I was younger and uh, I used to be fan also of the riders who attacked because I think they make the race uh, attractive and uh, at the end 
any sport on ice when they are really played 100%, you know, and to play 100% you have to make it attractive. And cycling, to make it attractive, you have to attack. So I think the attacks are like a key to make people happy.